Hello there, Capricorn. Welcome to your energy reading. And this is for the second half of April. I hope you're well, Capricorn. And I'd like to welcome uh, new viewers who, by chance, you happen to pop in here. And i like to also welcome all seasoned viewers. Welcome back to this reading. This is for the second half of April. Okay. So we're going to pick three oracle cards. Again, this is a general reading. So take what resonates and drop the rest. Family, harmony, Capricorn. Very nice. Environmental awareness. We have letting go. Ooh, what is it that you need to let go of? That seems to be a theme. It feels very emotional because the energies of, you know, it's blue. And then we have um violet, you know, which is about transformation. So a lot happening here for you. Okay, Capricorn. So, <clears throat> well, let's see. Let's look at energies of recent past so that we can kind of like piece the story together for incoming energies for second half of April for Capricorn. So Capricorn, if you're interested to grow spiritually and, you know, you want to do shadow work, you want to understand all of that, you can check out my other channel. Details are in the uh, description below and I have covered so far inner child and shadow work so there's part one and part two you can watch the recordings there okay so let's see the first the recent parts we have six of pentacles where you were in a state of giving and receiving giving or receiving but let's see what else Recent past, five of swords. Oh, okay. Mm, did you go through some disagreement? And then and then things got better. So there was some compromising that you did. Um, this could be emotional. It could be, you know, in your personal life. It could also be in the work arena where some disagreements took place and then... Um, you know, whatever happened, you decided that you should compromise and come together to work together effectively, right? So it could be your personal relationships. It could also be in the workspace, okay? So that's the recent past. So that's good, right? I mean, to be able to come to some form of um, resolution, whatever it may have been for you, Capricorn. So let's see what the energies are like. For the second half, we have the moon, we have the nine of swords. Some things are hidden from you. Knight of swords. Okay, you are, you know, I, I feel like Capricorn, you are like almost like upping your energies a little bit uh, as you enter into this next quarter of the year. But some things are still hidden from you. You're still not quite sure. And then we have two of two of ones. Okay, two of ones is about planning. You're trying to plan and trying to make a decision. <clears throat> trying to bring things into manifestation. Okay. But there's two things that you are unsure of. And that's okay. All right. I would ask you to trust in your intuition. Because the moon is, you know, very much in the unconscious, also about intuition, um, and it will reveal itself. So, um, keep a keep a focus on the right things. Keep a focus on, uh, rather than trying to aggressively plan for things coming up in the future. You focus on your intuition because with your intuition, you find that you are going to have greater clarity. Okay, I'm not sure whether they can hear the noise. There's some construction going on in this building. So uh, there's a lot of noise, okay? So if you uh, if you hear it, uh, please excuse it. If you don't, then that's fine. Uh, do we need more cards? Let's see. No, I don't think we need more. Okay. Mm, so... Um, yeah, the focus is on intuition and you are trying to make a decision. I would say whatever decision you make, do not allow yourself to go into too, too much of a mental space in making a decision. 
trusting your intuition is very important because when you trust your intuition and trust your body to respond to situations, your body will tell you, right? Your body will get a sense. I'm talking about a physical body, yeah? Physical, our physical body, you know, our nervous system and all of that is highly sensitive and it knows exactly what we need to do. And, and the thing is, most of the time we override it. We um, do not trust it. We think that we're nervous, but it's our nervous system, right? We, we have to listen to it. It's telling us something. So you may need to hold on for a bit, get clarity emotionally, make sure that you are in a, in a space where you are neutral. And then you, you know, get into the body sense again, like does your body feel, still feel nervous? And so listen to it because our intuition is really in the physical body. Yeah. So you have the Empress energy. Empress energy is about holding um, holding space for manifestation. You're going to get, you know, new ideas, new clarity coming in. But you are also um, a little bit fearful. <laughs> Maybe it feels unfamiliar. Okay. Let's see. Let's get some clarifiers for you. Okay. I feel like you are at a phase now where you are learning, um, like the opportunities presented to you to develop your intuition and to trust your intuition. You know, a, a lot of opportunities are being presented. So it's almost like there is training, right? There's training for, for you to do just that. Okay. So we have six of cups, which is giving and receiving, which you got earlier on, which is this one. <clears throat> Okay. So learning to compromise with people. Let's see what else. Three of Wands. The Star. Okay. Three of Wands is uh exploring. You have the moon again. Oh my god. It's about exploring. So repeating of parts, yeah? Three of Wands, exploring. And then you have the star. So again, is a confirmation of the message to trust your intuition. The stars are aligned. They're guiding you. King of Swords. <laughs> King of Swords is about integrity, morality. And then we have Six of Wands. Six of Wands really is you. Um, being in you know uh, victory, so you so you will come out of this <laughs> fine. Even if you're nervous, right? You think that um, you know there's self limiting beliefs coming in to stop you from trusting your intuition. The star is guiding you. Six of Wands. This is victory, which means you are going to make the right decision when you follow trusting your intuition. Go with the new ideas coming in. I feel like these new ideas are really quite life-changing for you. Um, it could be, I feel mostly it's for your, uh, the work, for your purpose. I don't feel it so much in your personal life in terms of the life-changing direction that I'm talking about. It's more to do with your work and maybe with the work, which is taking center stage, then um, your personal life is, you know, it, it goes along uh, with the decision or the changes that are taking place in your professional life. And of course, there's going to be improvement in your personal life as well. Okay, so really quite good energies, even if you feel like, I don't know what's next. I don't know what to do. I can't plan. I'm not clear. It doesn't matter because uh, they are hidden for a reason. And sometimes they are hidden to prevent us from jumping the gun or preventing us from making decisions based on mental construct. And sometimes they are, well, not sometimes, most of the time decisions we make based on mental construct may not take us where we need to go. Trust your body, trust your nervous system, okay? It's always telling you and always helping you to make decisions. So trust it. Your body must feel right <laughs> right your body must feel right and then 
you know that it's right. So in order to do that, you need to keep the physical body healthy, obviously. Okay. Let's see. What else does Capricorn need to know? Face your fear. <laughs> this is this one here was a face your fear card. So here is confirmation. Release the power of fear. Seek knowledge. Okay. And then moving forward. Get ready for positive change. Right? It's all about positivity. You have the star. You can also make a wish for positive things to take place. Very exciting phase you're entering into, Capricorn. And so I wish you a wonderful, wonderful rest of April. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now.